tutorial of composing with Bach and Cage. In this episode, I will start uh, taking this patch apart. It is um, a patch that I made for uh, the sake of this tutorial, but it explores different, ide different ideas on how to build uh, a score uh, in Max using recursive processes and eventually ended up ending up with a polyrhythmic um, texture uh, using a stochastic rhythmic uh, algorithm. This B patcher is pretty much the core of this all patch uh, and um, it builds a measure using uh, probabilities. So um, depending on the subdivision that I provide, so in this case, it's a subdivision of two. Um, I will have a combination of either a whole note for a 4 4 measure, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, 16 notes, and 32nd notes. And I can change the subdivision. And then I will collect all of these measures into a collect object. And then I will collect all of the measures into another collect object to build different voices. It will take more than one uh, episode of this to take this apart, maybe two more episodes. In the first one, I will start explaining how this, uh, the recursive um, B patcher works and how we can build uh, ryth rhythms using this idea. So let's start with that. Let's uh, first of all, start looking uh, on uh, uh, the back score. So in previous episodes, I have um, worked with the back roll and then eventually used the back roll to, um, to build a score through some quantization process. So I would just build uh, the durations of the notes and the onsets using absolute time, so millisecond values. Um, and in this case, I'm gonna take a different approach and using uh, durations based on relative time. So, which in Bach means using ratios instead of, uh, instead of uh, millisecond values. We should be aware that in a Bach expert object, um, I can build the ratio by giving it a um, identifier R. So if I send a um, message 0 0.5 to this uh, and maybe give a out T uh, then what I have here is a ratio um, value uh, while if I have a floating point uh, identifier then it will pass it through uh, and if I have integer it will just take the floor. We can notice how we actually have two sets of parentheses. We have a first set of parentheses which determines the voice. So if I have multiple sets of parentheses here, like so, and send that in, I will have two voices. So the first set of parentheses determines the voice, which voice I'm working on in my nested list. And the second set of parentheses is the measure. So if I add a measure here, I will have a whole note. Then I will have a half note and the rest is a rest, uh, which is the same of having this. So the minus uh, sign in my duration list tells me whether there is a note or there is a rest. And that will give me this configuration. So I have in the first voice, I have four quarter notes and then a half note and a, re and a half rest. And in the, the second voice, I have four quarter notes, two eighths notes, one um, quarter note, a rest quarter note. And then actually this is a mistake that's being corrected by uh, the box score. Uh, but this would be the correct notation. So now the sum of all of this is one. Uh, in my 4-4 measure. Uh, if I want to if I want to have like irregular group, um, subdivisions in 4-4, uh, for instance, uh, subdivision 3, so I can have uh, 1, 6, 1, 6, and 2. So now I have a triplet uh, and, and a half note. So 
So um, since this is a recursive process, which means that um, it will take uh, multiple iteration of itself to complete, uh, we cannot really use a Uzi object to do this because Uzi will just start uh, outputting bangs and uh, indexes uh, faster than this patch can handle. So um, for this kind of operations, I created an object that it's pretty simple, but it's the most useful uh, abstraction I have created. Uh, which just implements an Uzi object, but a uh, low priority, which means that um, this Uzi will not be, will not output another bang until every other process in the patch is completed. Each bang will only happen after the B patcher has completed its job. So if I give it um, a, a argument 10, it will output 10 banks uh, and that will give me 10 different versions of a 4-4 uh, measure with subdivision 2. I can uh, accumulate this, uh, the output of the B patcher into collect object and uh, only output uh, when the defer low, uh, Uzi defer low uh, object is done and uh, that will uh, allow me to build multiple um, measures uh, for the part. And again, all, me will, all different measures will have a slightly different um, combination of values based on the stochastic um, output of uh, this patch. So uh, I do need to wrap, as I've seen, I do need to wrap each one of these objects uh, of this uh, measures into a set of parentheses so I can give the collect the output in wrap one and then I want to collect um, all of the measures in another set of parentheses because that will be my um, voice uh, a parenthesis set and uh, at that point I can uh, use it in a box core like so, uh, and uh, the duration in the duration outlet. Uh, and what I can do here is use a, um, a bang bang object, which sends two bangs. It's like a trigger bang bang. Um, so the first bang to the collect and the second one to build my score. It's the same thing whether I send the bang to the to this outlet or the duration outlet, it really doesn't matter. Uh, so now I have a collection of 10 different uh, measures uh, with different combinations. If I add 30 seconds, then I will have, uh, then I will have um, more complex rhythms. If I add uh, some uh, rests, then I will have some combination of rests. So uh, what I can do here is, for instance, um, have the index of the Uzi uh, change the behavior of the stochastic subpatch. So uh, if I divide this by 10, I will have values that are um, bounded to one uh, and I can send for instance a changing rest behavior values uh, values zero will uh, give zero possibility of arrest values one will have one possibility of arrest which means all rests so this will give me I am um, uh, increasing number of rests as I go through the measures so let's send in and see how that works as you can see the measures increase, the rests increase as I go through uh, the measures. I can also have for each uh, voice, for each time the, the furlough is triggered, is initialized, um, to have a different subdivision. Uh, so what I can do is every time the furlough is the Uzi. The furlough is um, 
um, the, every time that you will see the furlough is done building, uh, it will uh, trigger a counter. For instance, if I want uh, five voices, I can have the first voice be one, uh, and then and count through five, and uh, I can have a counter uh, that um, gives me the counter doesn't need to have a maximum uh, but um, so it will be indexed from it will count from zero uh, and it will uh, uh, stop counting whenever this condition is not true anymore uh, so my num the number of voices is the maximum that I give uh, so whenever the counter is less than the number of voices will uh, keep counting and it will keep building and it will be keep uh, um, parsing through the list in the lookup for the different subdivisions uh, and um, and it will give me as expected the subdivision of two three five and three again so two three five and and three with different um, number of rests in between so if I restore the 10 then I will have a longer score with all of the expected behavior so I'm changing both the subdivision uh, at each voice and within the voice I'm increasing the number of rests throughout uh, the part so uh, this is uh, just one way of using this process um, and to build a score with um, polyrhythms um, through um, a, a iterative and a recursive process in Max. Um, so I will uh, keep going through the patch uh, in future in the next tutorials and hopefully this is helpful.